in the garage, running at full throttle my Bafang at 56 volts. This is my normal setup, my Panasonic battery pack fitted inside my backpack. Right, and a big thick wire going all the way connect to my frame with two Anderson plugs. And this Anderson plug here, the bottom one, is actually screwed to the way you normally screw the uh, water bottle holder, right? Cool, and then it goes all the way through the Bafang. Right, so here we're gonna be measuring how many RPMs I'm getting from this setup. See, it's not full battery, it's just uh, uh, below 56 volts. Right, so I've got my digital tachometer here, and I'm gonna be measuring how many RPMs I'm getting. Normally, the BBSO tube thing, it gets 120 RPMs. Let's see how many RPMs I'm getting here with the higher voltage running here, okay? It should be higher, right? Let's see. Uh, 100, whoa, holy fuck! 146. Something between 146 RPMs. Oh yeah. See so if you have full battery, I'll get even higher. Right, so I'll be trying to disconnect my BMS and charge to all the way to the limit, 58.8 volts. And I'll be running a different test. I'll be getting a higher RPM here. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I can get anything close to this with my lower voltage controller. They make great controllers for different type of motor, different setup. I was just doing a quick test, you know, like trying to do something different, but I don't think it's gonna happen with this motor. And yeah, right, so this is my setup and I'll be making different videos showing everything, like more details about my bike. There's so many people asking questions. Yes, I'll be covering everything, like oh, throttle, how I set up a throttle in my uh, road bike, which is a pretty tricky one, and uh, yeah, go, 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 you get the message, speeding faster, higher voltage, yeah, boy!